intelligence. Well, in that case, Camilla would win by default. No points off for being fat, ugly, or having bad hair. No points on for being pretty, having nice legs, or having a rich mommy. Don't I get any points for my rich mommy being the chief fashion editor of the Sun Times? No, that would give you an unfair advantage. What about Miss Blue? One point off for talking out of turn. She could even read the column, but she wouldn't look like that kind of thing. Biggest part of our lives, and spending it all alone, you are surrounded by the people. I don't have a date. I might as well be all alone. <laughs> I will like this. We skip all the goofy stuff and cut right to the chase. Elect the prom queen. Then I can enjoy myself. This is getting good. <laughs> Let me get my drum. Oh, get the moose. I'm getting the drum, you moose. <laughs> <laughs> so, does anyone have a question for our lovely contestants? They're going to speak from the heart, so you won't want to miss this. I have a question. No one wants to hear your question. You're right. Next. But I said next. I'm sure you've heard that. Oh. I have a question. Katrina? Nobody likes you, but you want to be prom queen anyway. Why? Revenge. Yeah. Revenge. Definitely. What she said. And because I've been lying to my parents. They think people like me because I'm smart. I'd love to know what high school they went to. Because one day I plan to be the senator and the Arizona State Legislature. We don't live in Arizona, you idiot. I said one day. <laughs> And so, I need to start convincing people who don't like me to vote for me. After spreading malicious gossip, otherwise known as the truth, since the age of 12, there are a lot of people here who wouldn't rate me very highly. Oh, everybody likes me. I've intimidated them into it. But Not a they, problem. But if they didn't like you? If they didn't, I'd have my mother right there out of style. That's what. Remember that call about half-length skirt? It reminds me of here. Exactly. Next time I want to borrow that sweater, you'll lend it to me happily. I don't have it anymore. You probably stole it. Next. Me. You ladies have a chance to go to prom with me, Garvey, Captain the football team. But you know you'd have a better time with somebody else. What do you do? Do you selfishly hang on to me for the prestige? Or put yourself first and go with somebody like Joe <coughs> Blaney? <laughs> that is funny. Garvey. No right about the answer here. You're assuming that anyone could have a good time with you. Yeah. When a date with you consists of one thing. Talking about you. Me. But I am interested. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. March 19th, last year, remember you, me, the donut shop? You said you had a great time. <laughs> That's just because I was in the earshot of Odette. I knew she wanted to go out with you. I just wanted to rub it in. You are about as interesting as a Holly Shore movie. I'd go out with you, Garvey. I just want to stare into your eyes, dream a little, and have you tell me how pretty I am. To say that you want to get to know me better. Every girl wants that. Every girl wants Garvey to say he cares. To say that for once in his life, he's found someone or something that's more important to him than his own petty narcissism. I want to change you, Garvey, because you need it. Dwayne's pretty much okay the way he is, but you, Garvey, you're going to need a woman all your life to nag and belittle you until you become something at least marginally agreeable. Wow. No one's ever said that to you before. <laughs> I didn't even care. Oh, I do. Shoot. No, so you not. Shut up. I'm campaigning. Next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I. You don't like the song, but someone who likes you comes up and asks you to, and asks you to dance. Do you dance anyway, or do you sit this one out and then accept a dance from the next guy who asks you for the next song, humiliating the guy who asked you first? And yes, it happened. <laughs> I'll wait. Someone will always want to dance with me if I feel like it. Oh, I'll go to quietly ask the band to stop playing polka. Sorry, that's not an option. Except your seventh polka, 
forget Shafoka. So you boys do everything Seth tells you to? Well, pretty much. He's no leader. Yeah, we have to. He's 19, you know. Well, tell him to get a DJ. Next. I'll dance. Then I'll find out who he really likes, and it'll be all over school by lunch hour the next okay. morning. Heck, I'll sit it out. Life's too short to dance to bad music. Which, apparently, is how this band expects us to spend our entire evening. My senior prom to a polka. Actually. The senior prom book is one of our greatest hits. Now let's get the bit on track it up. I can't dance with an adult <laughs> Well, I'm 19. No, Seth, you have to be old. Like, 22 or so. <laughs> um, do you need smoke? That's your question? I can't without... Oh, what? Your mother lets you smoke? When we have adult supervision, I can eat just about anything. Y'all should come over sometime. It gets pretty wild. We can <laughs> We cannot have a prom queen who smokes, drinks, or is into drugs. Well, that dog and shit. Honestly, that's the shit. Honesty. Well, let's see. Yvonne, if you were honest, you wouldn't be so popular. And Michalina, if you were honest. Oh, you are. Just never about yourself. That leaves Roxanne, Champagne, and Camilla. Camilla is in the accelerated program with me, but struggling. She's got her parents thinking she's smarter than she really is, and worse, she thinks she's smarter than me. That leaves Roxanne and Champagne. Roxanne, well-known, but not well-liked. Champagne, well-liked, but not well-known. But honest? Still, there's a title on the line. Prestige, smiles, flowers, and poise. Other boys. So, is honesty really relevant? Do we just throw four years of social discontent and start with honesty? We better not. For what? One night of royalty and then off to a land where you're nobody. Where nobody cares who's the prom queen. Hi, Mrs. Smith. I was prom queen in a small American high school in an uncharted island in the South Pacific. I didn't have to do my homework. That's what I'm counting on. That's not how it works. I'm a polka history major, and I study my butt off. This isn't fair. It was a question about smoking, not just about our integrity. Actually, it was both. You see, me and Dwayne, we're a team. Team of what? Tortoise and the bad hair? A team of people who are different. It's just happened to have a horrible time in high school because we like to do things that are different from everyone else. You like to do things that are dumb. You have a race to see who can finish that chemistry problem first. We did, but Dwayne cheated. He asked us in for help. Stop that! You ruined my reputation! You mean? Yep. I just have been hanging on you for acceptance. Deep down, I am a science geek. <laughs> Sorry, Robert, I thought you knew. Well, I only came with you, so I looked like a better choice anyway. I know I'm good looking, athletic, and a jock, but doesn't anybody like me for me? <laughs> Next question. <coughs> Do we have enough to vote on? I think it's time to vote. 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 Well, okay. Well, then we need one more question. A good one. One to make these girls think. Oh, you are so low. I don't like this. I'm starting to feel like a piece of me. Well, if it's just a popularity contest, I win. Besides, we already have next week in column laid out, and my picture's on top. So it's already in the news. I have a question. Can you ask it without adult supervision? Um, no. Really, <laughs> no, I can't. No. I have a question. Why do you care? What could possibly be so important about being prom queen that you would want to humiliate yourself like this in front of the entire student body? Yeah. I told you. I just want to knock off your bond. Fair, but what about the rest of you? Actually, it's for my mother. She lost prom queen when she was growing up, and ever since then, she's wanted me to live my life for her. I wanted to be on the math team. I wanted to take history classes and study comparative politics. But for my mother, it became a shallow, superficial society floozy. My brother, 
He played hockey just because of my dad's fantasy. And my other sister, she's the vice president of France just to please my aunt. It's not easy where I live. So then, you really don't want to be proud of me. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> me? Why do I care? For the little people. To show that an average girl can rise to greatness. To show that why would we want an average girl in a position of greatness? Oh look, here's Julia Roberts, Britney Spears, Mother Teresa, and next to them, Roxanne in a cream pot. If you want to be seen as great, you have to be great. Or at least popular. Yvonne, you're not popular. Oh yes, I am. No, you're not. That's the vote we should really take. Does anyone here like Yvonne? I don't need adult supervision to say no. Nope. <laughs> my book of faith. I didn't like her from the moment I met her. <laughs> yes, you did. You said you had to have me. It was a gut reaction. Now I'd like to have you deported. <laughs> Well, then you have to vote for me. Why? To feed into my delusions. You've only got three weeks of high school to go, and then you can go on with your dreary little lives. But I'm going to join my mother in her fashion editing column. But I'm going to write it for young adults. I just might decide the new range is black and straight. Long sleeves in the summer, no more tattoos. Do you want to take that chance? I don't think so, so vote me in. All right. Any final words for our lovely contestants? No? Good. Sorry. Too late. Vote. And while you're at it, vote for your favorite Ukrainian polka. We don't know Ukrainian polka. Well, that is my choice. So don't be whining about requests later. All right. Vote. Guilty or not guilty? Tom Queen or Bad Seed? Who gets the glitter? Who gets the litter? Who gets fumbled and who just gets fumbled? Would you shut up? Who has the big mouth? Who needs to migrate south? Seriously, <laughs> shut up! No. Shut Jermaine. Shut Shut up. <laughs> Please, I'm 19. I do what I want. Not without adult supervision. <laughs> adult supervision? Whatever. If they care about us, they will shut over the key. And you're not fair. Maybe it's a trick. Maybe they're trying to see how well we get along. It's not at all. So far, they're winning. I don't know. I kind of like it out here. There's no video monitors. <laughs> which girl gets brushed and which girl gets flushed? Which girl's royalty and which girl's toiletry? Oh, uh, you. Yeah. All right, yeah, sorry. That one wasn't so good. You try. Which guy gets the keys and oh, which guy gives me the creeps? <laughs> Keep trying. <clears throat> what are you guys doing? You're throwing out clothes for your mom, just like you want. But you've only thrown out three. That's all she got. And those are my intimidations, so they don't count. <laughs> Which girl will wither in pain? Our first loser is champagne. <laughs> Our next loser, and we need it. Oh my gosh, get to make a lean off. <laughs> Which fair maid will carry on? Oh my lord, this one's Yvonne. <laughs> Which one's our biggest fan? This league's just one. Your queen is Roxanne. Roxanne? Roxanne. Roxanne. Roxanne, who voted for her? Well, pretty much everyone.